Propane is a colorless, odorless, tasteless gas. So in its natural state, it's, you can't smell it at all. So at the refineries, they add the odor so that you can smell the gas and it makes it more safe. It's a clean American-made energy source that normally comes in the form of compressed liquid. Propane can be used in a variety of ways from home heat and cooking to fueling vehicles and grain drying. It's a byproduct and uh, it's stored in underground caverns and then loaded onto trucks and distributed that way. It's in, a, it's in a gas state if you just let it go, but if you put it in a container or pressurize it, it's easy to transport and it, as you use the vapor off the top, it actually boils and becomes more vapor, so you get a lot of use out of a very small container. They put natural gas through pipelines and they don't with, uh, with propane because of that. If you pressurize it, it turns back to liquid, so you got a couple states going on, it's hard to push through the pipelines. Residentially, it's used for cooking, heating, uh, water heating within a house, and you're using the vapor off the top of the tank in a residential situation. In the propane tanks, the smaller grill tanks, the tank itself is good when you buy it for 12 years, and then it has to be recertified. And most places do what they call a visual cert recertification, which lasts another five years. So then every five years from then after, it has to be recertified. Situations such as forklift use, uh, vehicles, they're, they're actually burning the liquid part of the propane because it's in two different states again. Whenever it's pressurized, there's a vapor state and a liquid state. Some draw off the liquid for, for motor vehicles and some draw off the vapor for home heating. Yeah, we have a lot of temp heat sites where we either heat buildings temporarily so they can drywall or we'll actually heat the ground just to be able to move the ground in the winter to, for, for bricklayers and that also.